Alrighty, so let's do some let's play for uh, the Deadly Tower of Monsters. Game just came well, up for free. The original movie poster. Oh boy, <laughs> that takes me back. All right, we're gonna start the commentary track now. Oh, that seems weird. So for what I've seen in this game, it's basically you're playing a video game about a movie. Looks good so far. Hello, Dan Smith here. I directed this film back in, uh, well, it feels like a century ago. Yeah. The studio asked me to provide a commentary track for the DVD release. And wham, straight into the action. No fluff or anything. That's what we did back then. Crash landed ship. Out pops our hero, the fearless Dick Starspeed. <laughs> Take step <star> speed. <coughs> well, that's good. Well, they're doing this shit. Alright, let's figure out the buttons. The ship's velocity reactor is damaged. I believe that I am stranded on an alien planet. What <laughs> the hell character is this? Jonathan Digby went on to some minor roles after this. Uh, such a shame. I thought from day one this guy's got leading man written all over his face. Probably because he literally did. I've often asked why Dick breaks these boxes. He actually had lived it. I told Jonathan, always keep things exciting. Greetings, citizens of Gravoria. I am Dick Starspeed, and I come in peace. That's like Probably the best thing ever. Had Dick draw his weapon when he was talking about peace. Well, maybe one day we'll go back and see Gid and do a sandwich or something instead. Ha! Ah, just kidding. And this is what people pay to see. A no-name middle-aged beast actor taking it out with stunt men in costumes. Such stunning choreography. And the extras in those robot suits really knew how to take a punch. Oh, literally. I told <laughs> Jonathan not to hold back. Give it all to him. Kick him in the nuts. And bolts. <laughs> and and what am I, I supposed to do about thinking, this? But don't worry. We handled it responsibly. We made right, them all sign waivers thought. not to sue for injuries. <laughs> oh. Awesome. Just to dodge those or catch one. <laughs> if I land squarely on that grain silo, I should survive this fall unscathed. What? Well, I shouldn't say this now, but you could actually see the strings if you squinted hard enough. Screenwriting trick from back in the old days. You put a grain silo or some haystacks down, and it solves all your gravity related problems. <laughs> what is See, I didn't look up anything on this game. I'm just. just playing. It appears some of my equipment was lost when my ship was shot down. But what luck. This high tech scanner reports that my ray gun is nearby. Ball and where? That water looks freaking weird. Um, so where is my gun? Great dinosaurs. Oh, the dinosaurs. You just don't see quality stop motion like this anymore, do you? Someone actually sat there and moved them frame by frame. <laughs> Today, it'd be done with computers, but where's the artistry in that? Oh, shit. Oh, sneaky, sneaky. Oh, 
Where the hell's my ray gun? Oh, there it is. Back up, back up. Because they are. I took them from the set of my last film, Vampire Island 2. Yay, Raygun. R2 to shoot. Nice. How do I switch weapons though? We got our fair share of nasty letters from scientists complaining about <laughs> our portrayal of the dinosaurs. Was news to me. Apparently, these stegosauruses weren't meat eaters. Must have preferred shellfish or something. Blah, how do oh, they I didn't know. That's what I say. The hell was that? I didn't realize I would jump over that. Oh, shit. This isn't exactly easy to aim. Is it monkey man? <laughs> Play with the apes, bro. As usual, the local population is defenseless. That's where our hero steps in and saves the day. Look, we put Jonathan through a lot shooting this film. He wasn't the best actor, especially when Whoa. reacting to getting hit. <laughs> He's what you call a flincher. So I told the stuntman to really just go to town on him. It's the only way to get an honest performance sometimes. Our props master tried to make the weapon soft, but there's only so much you can do. Lucky for us, Dick's entire body was oh, covered shit. in that spacesuit. That thing was a lifesaver when it came to hiding bruises. Oh. <laughs> into what appears to be gold. So random. You'll notice the gold disappears when Dick touches it. We had a deleted scene that explained he's actually teleporting it back to his ship. It's funny, no one ever questioned how Dick was able to walk around with an infinite amount of gold on him. This guy's dead body's blocked my shot from getting this guy. I should be able to shoot the bodies. I don't switch. I want to cut my uh oh triangle I think. Oh, as soon as you hit square. first attempt was uh, kind of a disaster. Whoa. We tried using real apes, thought it cut down on the costume budget a bit. But have you ever tried working with apes? They are the worst actors ever. They don't sit still for a moment. And the whoa, second whoa. you take your eyes off of them, they're flinging their feces all over the place. Jonathan refused to work with them after he got a... Um, well, it's, let, let's just say that he... Uh, Back up, you damn dead ape. Couple of showers one day. Oh, stupid. You know, you never forget the Back smell up. of monkey poo. We steam cleaned the studio top to bottom. Still never got rid of it. Oh, they're throwing rocks at me. Through the rest of the shot, we kept finding those little surprises hiding inside various props. Boy, <laughs> what are those the days? It's on the cage. Ooh, a silver card. 
supposed to do? Ape village. Oh, ape village. Okay. Mega gorilla. Some really top-notch stop motion effects, huh? Unfortunately, we <laughs> skipped on the Dick Starspeed puppet a little. The Earthman is not for you to eat, fiend. <laughs> oh, this is groundbreaking. Whoa. We had the woman rescuing a the poke stick. Before. We were really ahead of our time with this scene, but well, then again, I've always been rather progressive. Oh, her weapon's not better. Zach didn't seem to get why it was such a big deal, though. More reach. Sorry, we don't see this as anything unusual. Ha! Of course, oh. it's unusual. A woman would never save the man. It just doesn't happen. Not in the movies, not in real life. I don't know why we didn't get more recognition for this scene. Uh, I guess I was just a little too ahead of my time. No, there's two of us. Cool. Thank you for saving me, strange woman. What is your name? I am the magnificent Scarlet Nova. <laughs> Question my motives. Just be happy that you are still alive. I must in. speak with my father at once. I <laughs> shall teleport awesome. to his chambers. Teleporting console. I can't move it, so I guess it's where I want to go. Huh? Where is this place? This is not my father's chambers. <laughs> You have disobeyed me for the final time, Scarlet. Enjoy an eternity in the Tower of Eternal Solitude for all eternity. <laughs> the old fool did not notice I am wearing my jetpack. Booster usage. Jump. Wait. Wait. Use booster. Survive deadly fall. <laughs> Sounds pretty basic. Use jetpack to hover. Sweet. For a cool ray gun. Scarlet didn't quite realize she needed to shoot those energy orbs down below. Keep in mind, Stacy was doing this on a sound stage, okay? Uh, if I can do it. So you're gonna shoot the energy orbs. No? These ones? Uh. Now what? Shut the fucking energy orbs. We have to go over. Oh, more than two. I'm not gonna fall. Oh, this is freaking difficult. <laughs> <laughs> 